Let me see an idea in your mind, an idea that blends science and religion, belief, knowledge and practice. Our home planet Earth is habitable for life because it is neither too close nor too distant from the Sun. Scientists say that Earth will remain within this habitable zone for several billion years or so. Vita calls this the long future. Standing in the way of human civilization enjoying a long future is the Anthropocene crisis, the crisis of the modern era in which the actions of nearly 8,000 million human beings are ripping apart the fabric of the natural world that is our life support system. The Anthropocene crisis threatens to annihilate not just the human race, but most of the other animals and plants that we share this planet with. The animals and plants didn't create this crisis. We did. The humans did. And this places a moral responsibility on the humans to fix it. Vita believes that it is possible to dial down the Anthropocene crisis and come out the other side with sufficient ecosystems, species and stability in the Earth system for humanity to survive. Indeed, with the right guiding principle, it is possible that the human race could thrive in synergy with nature for millions of years, deep into the long future. We call this the Verdant Age. To achieve the Verdant Age, we need a new type of global institution that fosters a structured pathway to nature-based spirituality. A spirituality that is buoyed by the systems and processes of our living planet. Clouds forming, fish schooling, waves rolling, seeds sprouting, spiders spinning, rivers flowing, the ebb and flood of the tide, the coming and going of the seasons, the phases of the moon, nature. To help actualize this spiritual path, Vita is advised by ancient traditions such as Stoicism, Taoism, Buddhism and Shinto, and fused with modern concepts such as the planetary boundaries, the blue economy and climate restoration, the plan to return Earth's atmosphere to 300 parts per million CO2 by 2050. Vita stands between destinies. On one path, the human race is annihilated through climate and ecological collapse in the coming decades. In another destiny, ecosystems and individuals squeeze through the bottleneck to create a new civilization in nature restored. To be successful and enduring, this new civilization can't think like our current civilization, otherwise it will just repeat the past. Civilization needs a new foundational idea. Vita has that foundational idea. Vita believes that all living things on Earth are part of a single living being, the planet-sized superorganism called Vitae Planeta. I say Vitae Planeta because I am Vitan. I could otherwise say Gaia, Pachamama, uh, Mother Nature, or the Living Planet. These are all, all more or less the same thing. Everything that lives on Earth is a part of a holistic life force. Vita's mission is to share this spiritual message, to foster a global awakening, to transform human civilization, to advance the Verdant Age. Vita is grounded in the foundational belief that we humans are a part of nature no less than the trees and the bees, the whales and the snails. We're not just visitors or passers-by on this planet. We are a part of its living skin and we ought to act accordingly. Vita isn't an environmental group or an organization that is urging a particular form of activism. It is simply an idea that we humans have a better chance of surviving on this planet if we see ourselves as a part of it 
and not apart from it. Vida believes that around the world, 53 million people will identify as vegan once they become familiar with the idea. That's about 8% of the adult population in the Western countries. Is that you? Are you vegan? Visit the webpage thinkvita.org, join the newsletter, accept our communications, and think Vita.